Hey, what's up, my fellow humans? How you guys doing today? Sensei Lex is here today, surprisingly. Um, I just got my new editing software, so hopefully I can edit some of these videos now. Uh, but that's not the point of today's video. Today's video, uh, we are playing Kyle is Famous by John... Slymansky? Either way, this is like, um... This is like those, uh, how do I put this? Story game basic type games. Uh, they're gonna give me a bunch of different scenarios. I click my way through what I wanna do and stuff like that as a day. And then the day's gonna progress and progress and progress. And then we're gonna see how the outcome is. Now, I see, I seen, um, this on my Steam. Uh, it was new and it was trending. So, hopefully, because it's trending, means more people will come watch. Anyway, I should shut the fuck up now. Uh, let's get started. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. Right, I wish I could do the same. Kyle is the host of the most popular talk show in recent memory. Stay up late with Kyle. I don't know why Kyle is such a weird name to me. Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and has and the public has noticed. Inside has Kyle has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. STEM fields as in like stem cell research? Anyway. Uh, mo most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. The eye of the world is on Pond Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle. Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She is a kind and lovely philanthropist. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose wisely. All right, so this is good kind of man. So I'm going to have to go. I have 30 hours. I'm going to have to kind of uh, roll by. I don't know how long this is going to take, actually. Because they could go, like, there's a lot of ways 30 hours could go by. They could go realistically about this and be like, oh, you have to do the groceries take two hours and i don't know man like there's a lot of different ways to go about this but kyle's first decision in the morning was made wisely with their way exit the bed let's exit the bed so that took away an hour it took you t I, I can't i can relate it takes me an hour to get out kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his room um what am i gonna scavenge for so let's get some clothes uh, Kyle opened the closet. It was dark, and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Uh, Kyle decided to take some time to choose a perfect outfit, knowing how important appearances. See, when I watch late night talk shows, everybody's in a suit. But how many times are you gonna see a suit of armor? Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but it felt like the right thing to do. Thank you, Kyle. Don't judge me. After much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Back to the room. Uh, Kyle returned to Sonara's bedroom. Woof, that was six hours? Okay, let's go to the hallway. Uh, Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment. Uh, we need breakfast, right? Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Do I want to check the pantry or do I want to open the fridge? Um, I mean, when it's when it's short time, I would check the pantry. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was small by a lock keyhole. Why would you give me the option? That literally wasted. Oh my god. Uh, Kyle opened the fridge, intending to eat something. Eat the crust off the fridge wall. Ew. Prepare breakfast. Eat the fridge. Eat condiments like ketchup. Prepare breakfast. Kyle constructed a breakfast and poached eggs into a small, a small group and eat. Why would you smash it? Who in the right mind would smash their breakfast? 
just make it like take first of all kyle takes an hour to make it so just imagine him taking it and then he's just like ah, hulk smash anyway though uh, we're gonna eat the breakfast. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying everybody. He felt refreshed. All right, good. Uh, Kyle walked into. I'm not gonna check the pantry. Uh, Kyle walked into the hallway. The small rooms. Uh, Kyle walked into the. Uh, let's leave. Why would I check the locked door? It's locked. Why would I check it? Uh, Kyle walked into the, out into the middle of the road and took a long pondering look around him. Uh, do I have to do one of these? I don't see why I ought to do any of these. Wait, can I just go? What's in my bedroom? Let's sit at the desk. Ah, aha, ha, ha, ha. write notes. Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Am I a mother? Is your mother a mother? Is your mother a mother? If she had you, does that make who or her a mother? I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, are you a mother? Kyle wrote down the second question. What are some diet tips? Beef or mash or bl beef mash or blended? Ever eaten raw egg whole? I guess diet tips, right? Kyle wrote down his third question. Do you ever smile? I per why? Why? Why would you run over with puppy? Kyle. Uh, what's your funniest story? Kyle wrote down his last collect question. What's your guilty pleasure? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? Are you guilty? Kyle wrote this page out of his notes and got up from his desk. All right, let's go back to his desk. Uh, check my drawer. Ah, the key. Kyle opened up the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items. Uh, I still, I have three hours. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to make it because it's, it's like one hour to leave the room for some odd reason. One hour to check the pantry and one hour to open it. But this is also an hour. That's why I'm like, I don't know how this calculates. I'll just take this order to change. Yeah, it's like everything's an hour. Kyle made what is over the desk. Back to the room. What's scavenge? Kyle quickly couched down to the floor and realizing he's in immediately need for gossip. Why would I need bugs? Okay. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across the... From his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genu genuine need. Genuine I can't talk today. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. I'm going to approach her. Good evening, Kyle, she said. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking at him. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle, uh, I'm going to answer politely. And I as well, Rachel. Uh, extending his hand and greeting, you are the most welcome guest. After other mild ex exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle's and Rachel were prompted to seek their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. What gossip about my neighbor? But the clam. Mm, hold up. I want first of all it's blue meaning I wouldn't get that before obviously but see I just want to kind of be the safe route right now because I'm like mm, I kind of want to go the safe route just like all right let me let me actually try let me try because I am actually genuinely trying believe it or not uh, so let's just start the broadcast good evening everyone uh, said Kyle looking at the camera staying up welcome back to staying up late with Kyle Tonight, I have the pleasure of inter interviewing the lovely Rachel May. Who needs no more introduction? Well, all right. Kyle uh, motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle. Hello, Kyle, she said. 
I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in. I'm very ready. Also, don't ask me why Rachel talks like that. I have no clue. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. <laughs> Immediately, are you guilty? Uh. All right, let's let's. Are you are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know. Are you a mother? Look. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that crossed my mind. She smiled at me genuinely. Alright, very reasonable indeed. <sighs> You're not so great, Rachel. Alright, Rachel, what are your diet tips? Tell me. Tell me. Let me know. What are your diet tips? No, I'm actually questioning. No one has mentioned my suit of armor yet so why uh rachel you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure what's your best diet tip well a good diet starts with a plan and don't break it cheat days can turn into a habit i burped but she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed. I looked at my flabby self and decided, I'm not flabby, I got jeans. Uh, Kyle looked at his flabby self and decided not to comment and move on. Uh, I actually just kind of genuinely want to save that for last. You've been involved in a lot of different things, but what's your funny story? What's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle. I think the story I always remembered is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. In the soup I made, I swapped out with the water with the milk and tipped the whole jar of, soil, of salt in the pot. I like salty things, but damn. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped at things and locked myself in my room. Aww. Aww. Uh, Rachel laughed elegantly. God decided to move on. Are you guilty? Sorry, headphone users. Rachel, are you guilty? Kyle threw his questions on the floor and stood up and pointed at her. Are you guilty, Kyle? Kyle. I meant Rachel. Are you guilty? Let us know. Are you guilty, Rachel? I'm looking at you, Rachel. Anyway, Rachel's eyes twitched slightly. G guilty of what, dear? Kyle. She smiled disingenuously. Guilty of your crimes. Rachel denied. Her eyes, eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. That's. After reading his final question, Kyle looked at it from his paper. Well, Rachel, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Just, you're guilty of your crimes. But, anyway, so... Well, if that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Rails, Rachel said, smiling one more time, but okay. Why exactly are you decided to wear a suit of armor today? Before, <laughs> before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down, the broadcast was over. Kyle returned home knowing that the interview had gone well. But at last he laid in bed, drifting to sleep. He felt that perhaps something was still missing. 
Kyle prepared very well. What was missing though? So I'm gonna quickly um I'm gonna get see if I get another ending. What happens if I don't get up? Do I Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. Oh, oh shucks. I died. Oh, whatever. Oh shucks. Kyle is now a ghost, and that does not relieve him of responsibilities. Get out of bed anyway. So I wasted three hours of my life already. All right, so I'm not. I don't want to take any notes. Let me not take any notes. Let me just go. Actually, like, let me just. No clothes. No nothing. Check the locked door. I'm a ghost. Yeah, flow through. Kyle found himself in a room and he stashed various items sent by fans. Uh, this is one of the most this is one of the many mysterious artifacts Kyle has been sent over years. I'm gonna take the artifact. Uh, I'm gonna get the laser claymore. Expecting a battle, Kyle grabs the laser claymore. He Kyle found himself in the room. Check the sewing machine. Okay, that was a waste. Uh. Back into the hallway. Let me float through side door. Kyle found himself in a room. Oh, no, I already did that. Yeah, now I'm just waiting for time. Uh, let me go into the kitchen. Uh, check the pantry. I can't just... What? what? Uh, open the fridge. Let me eat the fridge. Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. Somehow, miraculously, he wrapped his mouth around the device. He started to swallow. In one slow, horrible movement, the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. After many gurgles and pops and snaps, Kyle felt relatively sure the fridge would not come back out. I ate a fridge. That's not okay. Kyle approaches downstairs neighbor door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Kyle unexpectedly. Consume Gabby. All right. Kyle heard this at per normal. He ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. Oh, what? Sitting across from his host chair. Was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Uh, as Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Uh, just wham! Throw the artifact at her. As she approached to shake his hand, Kyle produced a supernatural artifact and winged it at Rachel's face. Oh my god. Within moments of the artifact colliding with her head, Rachel started to turn into a lizard demon. What the fuck? Rachel began to cause destruction, tripping over lights and causing crew, member crew members to scatter. Kyle, realizing the disaster he had caused, he decided it was up to entertain the monster. Throw crew members at the monster. Throw self at the monster. I'm a ghost, though. K Kyle launched himself at the uh, at the monstrous Rachel. In the great collision of flesh, Kyle ran face first into the monster's stomach. Kyle continued to launch himself into Rachel's stomach with wild abandon. After several dozen collisions, small, insignificant bones in Kyle's body began to fracture. Kyle continued. Rachel began to lose stamina from the in incident, incessant damage Kyle was inflicting upon her. Oh my god, this is a brutal fight. Kyle continued his assault. Excuse me. Nobody, nobody present could tell what parts of his body were bruised, what were, and what weren't. Eventually, in one well-placed lunge, the artifact embedded in Rachel's face popped out. Immediately, Rachel turned back to her normal human self. The studio, now in shambles, flicked to life. The broadcast had started automatically.
Kai was unable to move properly and became aware that the eyes of many were upon him. Kaio tried to address the audience, but instead spewed some mixture of breakfast, felgum, and chunks of the wall. Ew. Kaio's spewing video became a very hot meme. Online personalities used to it to express distaste about social issues. Teenagers sent it to each other about homework amounts. Rachel's broadcast was rescheduled for the following week. Fans complained about not being able to see Rachel's face as she wore protective headgear the whole time. <laughs> uh, Rachel prepared by being a lizard. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get one more. Uh, let's get out the bed. Um, so let's. We're gonna write the notes, but we're gonna go crazy with them. Am I a mother? I don't know what's crazy here. I guess have you ever eaten the wrong head egg? Do you ever smile? And are you guilty? We're gonna put are you guilty? We're probably gonna start with that first. Uh what's in my desk drawer? The key, right? Small key. Okay. Back to the room. Uh do we need to open the closet? Yeah, let's choose an outfit. What's skunk pasties? I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna. Oh, what? Choose the pasties made out of mashed skunk flesh. Getting the slimy garments to stay proved difficult, so Kyle opted to stick them with hot glue. Why? Okay, move to the kitchen. Uh, eat. Prepare to breakfast. Eat it. Um, now what? Shit! I actually have to stay in here. Check the pantry. Use a small key. Look in it. Instead of the assortment of canned goods, Kyle's pantry was stored a massive amount of bottle of lard. I want to take it. I'm going to take the lard. Uh, return. Okay, so I hurry to the set. Boom, boom, boom. Approach Rachel. Good evening. Uh, let me scream in a circle. Kyle started to stretch out his arms and stretch out his arms wide, tilt his neck upwards, and was interrupted by the producers telling him that Rachel, telling him and Rachel that it was time to start the show. Okay, so I guess it's just fuck, fuck me, right? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, Kyle, look at the camera. Blah blah blah. Introduce Rachel. Yes. Hello, Kyle. Just drink the lard on stage. Dive right into this bottle, and God, that is. Uh, Kyle pulled out a bottle of lard, bit the top off, and chugged it. Is the Kyle's body rejected the lard? He began to spew chunks of lard and digestive fluid in every. Ew. Everything with 10, 10 foot radius was immediately covered, including Rachel. Kyle continued to vomit. Rachel Rachel bravely fought to stay seated amidst the vomit. What? I would have been gone. That. Like, at least get up. Like, how is that brave? Just to. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Look. Uh, why? Unfortunately, Kyle's vomit had covered all over covered covered all over the cameras. There was no broadcast. Kyle finished spewing eventually. Uh, the broadcast was more was not recoverable. All present were sent to home. All present were sent home to try again another day. As Kyle got home, he made a mental note to refill his large supply. Kyle, why would you refill it? After, first of all, why do you have lard? Second of all, why would you refill it? 
Why? I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Uh, and Kyle consumed. Uh, wow. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna leave it off at that. I'm not gonna get all the endings. Uh, maybe another day. If you guys like this, then maybe I will um, do another part to it. Besides that, I'm not gonna uh, kill myself over it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll leave a link down below uh, so you guys can download this game off Steam. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already, just subscribe, ring that notification bell. You guys know what to do. You guys know how it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.